What's up? Randy coming at you live, baby. Uh, this is my first video of 2016, and many of you have been requesting me to make a new video. It's been like a year now since my last video was the Christmas one. But I'm going to do another. I have more games than I than I thought it would, but that's far-fetched. But this is my game collection update. It's going to be an update because I have more games that I didn't show in my other video on the game collection. So without further ado, this is gaming collection update. And by the way, the old the, the games I had in the video, that old old one, that they're gonna be in this video too, so be aware of that. So let's begin. Alright. Before I, oh by the way, it's gonna be on PS2 and GameCube because I love classic games. I'm a classic gamer. So, um, here we go. Fatal Frame 3, The Tormented, my sister's game, she got it on Christmas. Here, it's, this game's scary. I doubt it. But I hear it's really good. I'll give it a try sometime. Spider-Man 3. Oh, I already talked about how awful this game is. Based on the movie. Graphics are disgusting. Frame rate is awful. Soundtracks, eh, it's fine. But the only fun part in the game, the only fun part was fighting Venom. And the sick music in the background. That was the only fun part. Yeah. Got ripped off. I bought this on GameStop back in 2013. Just stay away. Don't get this game. Sonic Heroes, so uh, Sonic Heroes. I have this on GameCube. Well, it's gonna be in that. I'll show you it in a bit. No manual, just a disc. Greatest hits. It's better on GameCube. Frame rate's better. I can forgive this one since I love PlayStation. So you can get it on this Xbox or uh, GameCube. Doesn't matter. Up to you. Okay. Kingdom Hearts 2. Now this is a good one. This is the second one. I don't have the first one. My sister thought that this was the first game, but it's not. But what's really cool about this the franchise is it's a crossover with Disney characters. How awesome is that? Mickey Mouse, Goofy, Donald, and many more. Yeah, I have a shirt of it too. Kingdom Hearts. I bought it at uh, Macy's a couple of years back. My sister got this at Walmart when it was when the PS2 was still popular at the time. Ignore the background, it's just my dad doing his work. He's um He's redesigning the kitchen. So I hope you can hear me. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai 2. Another great one. I really recommend getting it if you're an anime anime DBZ guy. So yeah, you should get it. Go for it. It's also on the Wii, but PS2 has better controls. PlayStation is the best. The best from the West. Gran Turismo 3 A spec. Oh, and it's Sony merchandise. It's PS2 exclusive. Released back in 2001. Approximately 15 years ago. It's one to two players. Perfectly condition, mint condition, mint condition. I haven't played it in years, and it's really good. You should try it out. Fail frame through to tormented. I hate that noise in the background. Ignore it. Just ignore it. And my sister got this game on eBay. She loves it. Happy for her that she loves it. If she's happy, then I'm happy. Problemo solved. Crimson Butterfly. This was my this is this is a good one. Rayman Arena. I also have it on PS2, but it's better on GameCube because the frame rate is way better. And I had it on PS2 years 
back when, but you should get it. It's really good. I got it on Christmas in 2013. Okay, so um, here's a good one. Ultimate Spider-Man. Really good game. And it's based off the comics, not the TV show. That was like years later. And it's cell shaded. You can play as Venom in it too. I have one of the comics. That, the comics I have is in the game. It's in the game. So, yeah. You can also get it on GameCube and Xbox. PC too. Oh, yeah. The first ever 3D game on the PS... On GTA 3... First 3D GTA game. Um, GTA 3. I love this game. Sadly, it does not work. Mine doesn't work anymore. It does not work anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry to you, Cameron. Because, um, I, I hit the console while... Because it was making a weird noise. Then... Every time I put this game in, it always freezes at the loading screen. I tried cleaning it with water. I thought it would... Uh, but no. So... I might throw this away if I get a new one. So, I'm coming up... I might get a new one in the, the next couple of weeks. So... It's it's, a, it's sad that the mines doesn't work anymore. I had this for four years, 2012 to 2015, three years. Rest in peace. Okay, we'll do the morning later. So, oh, here's a good one. Sonic Heroes again, but on GameCube, way better on GameCube. Frame rate is better. A sick soundtrack. Yeah. Bought it out of Swamp Me like two weeks ago. Really, you should get it. It's really good. That's on the GameCube. Oh, yeah. My favorite of all time. Spider-Man 2. I love this game. It's, a, it's an amazing game based on an amazing movie. Also bought this out of Swamp Me back in October last year. You should get it. But stay away from the PC version. It's not good. It's awful. So stay away from the PC version. All right. So here's um. I got this one for Christmas. Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. You already seen it. So on my Christmas gifts of 2015. So I'm not gonna explain it. Just get the game if you want. I still love it. All right. That's enough. That's uh, that's all for this chunk. We have one more chunk left right here. Here is Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, the GameCube. I ever played it. It's my brother's game. My neighbor gave it to him, but he told me it's really fun and all. Oh, I think it is good. I never played it, but I hear it's really good. It's really, like amazing. I'll try it out some other time. Let's see how that turns out. Sonic Riders. For the GameCube, also on PS2 and Xbox. A game to feature three new characters in the Sonic franchise. It's good and hard at the same time. I couldn't even, I couldn't beat it. I couldn't beat it, so. She should get it some. It also, it also had a sequel, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, here's a good one. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. The first Sonic game to be on a Nintendo console. Only for GameCube. My, my sister bought this at Sam's Club when, it, when the GameCube was still popular at the time. Released in 2002. It was also released on Dreamcast, but... I hear it's glitchy on Dreamcast, but so you got the GameCube one. So, you should get it. It's on eBay. Or you can download it on PS3 or Xbox. Ah, oh, here's a classic, most popular, best-selling game on the PS2. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Released in 2004, and I bought this in 2008. I spent, it took me, believe it or not, it took me two years to beat, since I was only eight when I got the game. It's like the best-selling game on the PS2. It's also on new, the next gen con. No, it's also on 360 and PS3. So go ahead and get that out. See for yourself if you want to get it. 
Oh, this video is getting longer than my other ones. So, um, here's one that I think no one I have ever met knew about, knows about. Rayman 2 Revolution. Really good platformer game. Released in 2000. A really good platformer game. There's a Skechers ad on this. I hate Skechers. Um, I bought the game back in 2004. We sold it for the Wii. We got it back in 2013. Really good. Okay, so... Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. Yes, this is a good one. I love this game. You should get it. Fantastic game, I must say. No doubt about it. It's really fun and all, but... It's really good. It's also on HD. So I already explained it. Already on HD. So on, so forth. Oh, yeah. Tony Hawk's Underground 2. This game is amazing. I love the game soundtrack. I love the game soundtrack for its for its awesomeness. From way back when, I love this game for its um, awesomeness. The soundtrack is fun, is amazing. Has uh, operatic. I love that. I love those guys, and Metallica. So, you should really get the game for yourself if you want to see what it's like. Dragon Ball Z Infinite World. Same as Budokai 3. Different story, more characters, and hard at the same time. Harder than Budokai 2. I used to have that game years ago. Alright, Tony Hawk's Underground. You can put your face in the game. First game to have a story. First Tony Hawk game to have a story. And where you can get off your board. That's amazing. Dragon Ball Z Budokai. This game is fantastic. I got this game for Christmas back in 2011. The, po the, the manual smells nice. It smells brand new. I came with the poster, but I lost it. Well, I give it this to someone. Spider-Man, the movie game. Really good beat-em-up. Recommend it. On three multiple platforms. Get it yourself. Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. Prequel to GTA 3. Also on PSP. And also available on, on iOS. Available on iOS. Coming to Android devices soon. So yeah, it's really good. Get it yourself. Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I love this game. I made a review on it back in wait like a year ago. I made I love this game. Great soundtrack. Fantastic story. Gets the eighties style right. Eighties style done right. Next hits. And finally, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Four. Really a great game. Introduced the the skitching. This is before Underground. That means you couldn't get off your board. You can't get off your board, so. But the game was still amazing. Alright, that's all my games. Check a look. Look at all that right there. Look at all that. Alright. That's it, guys. My first video, 2016. And as always, Excelsior!